important. And, and uh, I recognized that early on. So the very first paper on type class that says, by the way, you can put comments in the type class that correspond to the properties that you want your operators to satisfy. And uh, that turned out to be a good insight. So that's why type classes then showed up in every single proof assistant because they worked with this very well. But you talk about uh, coming up with type classes as if, you know, you just, you pluck them from the ether, but just after talking about the importance of kind of taking things from history, do you think there was any kind of, uh, inspiration maybe? In, uh, yeah, inspiration for that? Or did you pluck it from the ether? Well, uh, it was clearly an application of uh, what back then we all called Curry Howard. And now I call propositions as types. So this, this notion that you can view an implication as a function. And so there was something in type classes that was written as an implication. If A belongs to the numeric class, then this function will take an A to an A. It'll only do this for A's that belong to the numeric class. So you had an implication there, but that turned into a function, which is give me the implementation you have in mind for the numeric class. So, you know, if A is int, give me the numeric operations on it. If it's time, if it's float, give me the numeric operations on float. So that was the key idea.